Why didn't you shoot that bull I wanted to shoot? He stepped right in front of that great big bull. And I didn't want to shoot him by accident. He won't be no good to eat. You know, the last thing I want to do is wound the buffalo. I want to make a good, clean kill. And I just did not feel comfortable about taking a shot. Everything's going to have to be exactly the way I want it before I'm going to take the chance. Come on, we got to stay in the cover, though. They're getting out in the open. <sighs> I've got a family to take care of. If I don't get this buffalo killed, you know, I've really failed as a provider. So we just kept working our way, trying to use what cover we could to get a little bit closer in to take the shot. But the closer I get, the better chance I have of spooking them too and not getting a shot at all. So I'm gonna have to decide how close is too close. You stay right here, all right. and I'm gonna go up here and see what I can get done. All right. We're at close enough range now. I told Ben to hang back because it's even more dangerous being in this close proximity to that buffalo herd. I felt like the buffalo was dead, but you don't ever know until you make sure. Don't take any chances with buffalo. Because if it's not dead and it jumps up, you're going to be in the line of fire. Woohoo! He's down, Betty. Can you come on down? Man, what a relief. I'd worked so hard for the one shot, one kill. I couldn't believe that it actually worked. Boy, he's big and ain't he? Yeah. Well, let's get to it. All right. Now, the hunt is over and the work begins.